the fireplace finale video vlog tutorial whatever is finally here we can finally end this six month long wait that i have put y'all through and i apologize but work and life and trying to get back to being normal has been hectic i have been losing my freaking mind and trying to juggle work again while also trying to maintain posting consistently is 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 hard it's very very hard so the last time i left y'all off we were pretty much installing the drywall. We had sanded everything down and we were getting ready to paint. In this video, I'm installing the floors and Christian's gonna go over all of his techie goodness that he had installed after we completed everything. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this, guys. Before I go any further, if you are new to our channel, welcome and we would love to have you. So please do not forget to hit that subscribe button Come and join the family so you can check out more of our handyman clearance series. So let's go ahead and talk about this. All right, so the floor had already been installed. This is brand new floor that we had installed. We had water damage to uh, the previous floor. The toilet above, we have, this is the lower level. So the upstairs toilet had leaked and it destroyed the floor. So we had to get it replaced. So before we took out the fireplace of course when the guys came in to install this floor they cut right there so that's why you see the floor does not continue into the now renovated office nook so i had to remove panels of course because i wanted to continue that floor into there now there was an easier way to do this i could have simply bought a transition piece and just you know cover up the gap between one set of floors to another but i'm stubborn and i did not like the way that was going to look and plus christian's going to have an office desk sitting in this corner and he's going to have to worry about having to roll it over a damn transition piece so i was like nope sorry babe we're going to have to pull this up and lay down some new flooring this is the most incorrect way to install flooring okay i am not a professional i've made that clear in every handyman clearance video disclaimer do do not okay i am a diyer we are just addicted to Pinterest and HGTV. I promise you, we don't know what we're doing. And this was our first time dealing with flooring too, on top of all of that, okay? So we literally have not a damn clue. We literally just go on YouTube and call ourselves a professional after we've watched four or five videos. So Christian was being the total Debbie Downer of this entire like floor installation. He immediately is like, yeah, babe, you don't know what you're doing. You need to call your, your, your cousin or your uncle or call somebody who know what they're doing because you obviously do not. So you know what I did? I was like, okay, babe, yeah, you're right, you're right. I wait for his ass to go to work. And when he left, a bitch got to work, okay? Do y'all see me? I am putting in work. My back is burning, okay? I had to take a break, because this was difficult. This wasn't like laying down like regular flooring. Like I had to shimmy this crap to connect with the previous already existing flooring. So my back was on fire trying to get this to work. But overall, if I didn't have to do all this, if I was just laying down some regular floors, it was actually pretty easy. It's literally putting a puzzle together. And look at that. Look at that. Who need to call who? Okay, they need to call me. That's who they need to call because I obviously know what the hell I'm doing. But I don't. Anyways, I stood here for like two hours just admiring my back, like literal back breaking work that I have completed over the night like a vampire, honey. I was in there working. Do y'all see that floor? I installed a floor that was already installed. Okay, and this was my first time. You can't tell me nothing. I was just like, girl, we did this. <laughs> we, we, nothing can stop us at this point. So this is the next morning or a couple of days later. I have no clue. I'm losing track of time, but I painted everything. Honey, don't it look like a professional came up in here? I went ahead and did the ceiling so it can continue that like whatever they got going on on the ceiling. I did all that. Okay, you see, you see that? Then we're gonna go into the baseboards because those have to be replaced as well. So um, this wasn't too bad. The most annoying part about this entire thing was trying to remove the leftover nails. I ended up having cut most of them out because some of them just would not budge and I was breaking them as well. So that was a little annoying, but other than that, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too bad. But I had to you know, make Christian come over there and help too because I was just like, yeah, you was talking all that junk about me not being able to install a floor. Get down here and take these nails up out this uh, drywall, okay? Come on, come on now. So I also wanna do a tool spotlight. 
And my number one, my go-to, my bestie during all of this was this pressure tank right here, okay? Home girl was saving me time and energy and I appreciate you. So my craftsman air pressure tank thing, I'm pretty sure that's not the, the correct term for her, but me and her, we besties, okay? She she get the nail in, them nails in, a little Okay, I, it was so satisfying using this thing. You gotta get you one if you don't. So anyway, it's time for the reveal. Let's go ahead and see the finished look. Can you use it for and all that good shit? So this is my little man cave area. Took out the fireplace and created a game or a gaming station. Built my first computer right here start streaming and stuff from it see the vertical monitor then you see the other monitor let me buy all this stuff i don't know why she let me do that i kind of went crazy with buying stuff but yeah my wife spoils me she allows me to get all this stuff with my money yeah she spoils me <laughs> <laughs> so how long did it take us to do this whole project? It took a while. Yeah, we started it, what, early this year, didn't we? Yeah, it was early this year, and it's been done for about three months now. Yeah, so it took us about six months yeah. for this entire thing. Because we had to do the floors. Yeah. The what was the hardest part, though? The hardest part? Yeah. Consistency. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, like doing bits and pieces yeah. here and there. It could have been done in a month. It could have been, yeah. We, you know. No, the hardest as far part. As, as far as getting the, the walls yeah. and the floors done. Um, this was all pieced mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Um, I was buying bits and pieces. While we were working on yeah. taking it out, yeah. Here and there. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> It used to be a fireplace. <laughs> it used to be a fireplace. Like, it used to be a fireplace here. It's awesome. We got a lot of stuff done, like 2020 and 2021, even though like the pandemic sucked ass, like as far as staying home, and actually working on our house, investing in our house, because this is a very big investment for us. Like it's finally coming together, like, but we are far from done. We definitely have uh, so much more to go and we will be, of course, documenting all of that so you guys can see how we literally like came from nothing. Like we first moved in this house, we didn't even have AC and heat. Like it was leaking through the roof. It was the first week we moved in. Like the roof was leaking, the it was from the garage and all that. Like yeah, it made it look really pretty. First time home I mean, buyers. It was first time, you know. Yeah. You don't know what to look for. Now, <laughs> I feel like we're experts. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> we go into other people's houses, we be reevaluating, yeah, yeah. like they damn crown molding. Like, mm. In my mind, like, <laughs> <laughs> So don't don't invite us over. <laughs> we talking shit as <laughs> soon as we get in the car, we're like, did you see that carpet? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are freaking done with this project finally and um yeah the next big thing for us will like diy wise i don't know because i'm tired oh yeah yeah that's right that. that was the next diy project did you want to do that yeah i did want because theirs isn't bad like we're just i say it's not bad and then i'll start doing it but like, <laughs> yeah and that'll probably be our next diy we'll be renovating the bathroom which i feel like at this point we got it like it's too easy at this point and then thanks to our neighbor like he he's been a one through all of this <laughs> like he really did like he'll come over and help us he helped us move a fireplace what neighbor comes over to help like yeah he's awesome so anyways, y'all, thank you for joining us on another Handyman Clearance series. I finally put it into this one. I'm sorry it took so long for me to finally come and give y'all the finale. Thank you guys, and we greatly appreciate all of our followers. We're supposed to be doing a giveaway for this video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So the giveaway would be this desk. Not this particular desk. We have an extra 
It's not this exact desk? It's, it is a suit. Oh, not this see. particular one. This oh. Suit. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not giving them this. this is, I didn't put this together. It only took five minutes, but I'm not giving y'all my desk. <laughs> but this exact model right here, we'll be giving it away. Yep, we're giving away an entire freaking uh, desk. It's a little game desk. It's about, I think, 47 inches wide. Yeah, it's about four feet. Because the nook is about four feet wide and it fits right in the nook perfectly. So, yep. So how how are we how are we doing this giveaway? Like what they gotta do? <laughs> I 